Well, my name's Katie Ayers, and I grow things out of mushrooms. Like this. And this. And hotels for bees. We'll explain later. And this. Hold on a second. This seems like a good time for a science break. To learn about mycelium, the unseen vegetative body of a fungus that forms mushrooms. So what you normally see above ground is that mushroom and then all these, these hyphal strings together as a whole are what we refer to as the mycelium or the body of the mushroom. This is the hard part. Learn to control mycelium and you can make things like a canoe. So kind of walk me through how you made this. So we started off by building a wooden skeleton, which you can kind of see through some of these right here. And then we made paper mache molds. Fill it with spawn, basically ground up wood with mycelium already in it. And then hung it in a hammock to grow. So how long did it take that to grow? The, my canoe took about one week to grow and then we left it outside in the sun for another week to dry. Is it fun paddling around on this thing? I love it. <laughs> It's definitely a workout, too. This started with an English class assignment. Write a paper about solving a sustainability issue. Ayers did some research and landed on a documentary called Super Fungi. She was hooked. What was it that hooked you? The fact that there's so much that we don't know about fungi. Her love of fishing led her to making a canoe. Catch more rays, but now we're focusing on conservation biology of our native pollinators. Pollinator numbers are dwindling rapidly, and we have over 400 species of bees and wasps that do pollination here in Nebraska, so we thought we could provide them some habitat with a native fungus. Pretty happy with how this one came out so far. Habitat in the form of hotels. Ayers saw a study that exudates, basically the juices of this mushroomy fungus, kills some viruses threatening bees create a place for bees to live and lay eggs, and... Every time it rains, this will make a tiny bit of exudates, and we hope that the bees will actually go out and drink those as a water source. Pack more ground up wood into a mold. How long does it take to do one of these? It depends on who you are. It takes me about 45 minutes. Ayers, Gillespie, and fellow students make about 10 hotels a week. You want a nice, tidy hotel for each yeah. bee, right? Okay. Who wouldn't want a tidy hotel? <laughs> <laughs> because you don't want a bad Yelp rating from right? a bee, right? Is that kind of what happens? <laughs> and then we just tape it up so it's airtight and put it in our incubators. Incubate so it grows for about five days. So the packing shape is the best because it takes longer to get through this clear plastic. It'll grow straight through the duct tape, painter's tape. This is actually really beautiful to look at under the microscope because of how it grows. Tell me about Katie. Katie is an incredible young woman. She's absolutely an inspiration to myself, to the other students, um, to, to emulate her work ethic and her passion. And as you've seen, her passion is contagious. <laughs> this is the fun part. All right, so we're gonna unpack a bee house. Yes. It smells like mushrooms. Imagine that. Yeah. It's actually one of my most favorite uh, scents now. Perfect. I wouldn't say perfect yet. <laughs> Wait till you see the outcome. This one's a little sticky over here. I'm trying to eat the plastic. This isn't coming off very easily. No, it's not this time. It's because we have a camera on you. Uh-huh. <laughs> that's, that's how it works. There it goes. Voila. That looks good. That looks really nice, actually. Yeah. Beautiful. And that's what we want to happen. <laughs> Perfect. I mean, it doesn't seem like these are sticking at all. Yeah, this one looks really great. Not too bad. Be hotel. Into a humidity tent for a week. Keeping the humidity up actually helps it to continue growing. Bake the inside to stop it from growing. Put the inside and outside together, and you have a bee hotel. Ayers is installing hotels throughout Nebraska. She'll retrieve them, see how and how often bees use them, make adjustments, make more hotels, and maybe take the product to market after a few more years of development. 
Grants allow her research to continue, even though she's now graduated from Central Community College and starting a bachelor's degree at Washington State. The fact that we really don't know if this is going to work or not, and that's the most exciting part to me. There is a risk involved with it. It could crash and burn, but this could also be game-changing for our native pollinators. Benefits for bees, benefits for the environment. Using a more sustainable biomaterial instead of solid wood or styrofoam, often used now for bee hotels. Ayers is part of a movement. A Fungal Materials Facebook group has more than 22,000 members worldwide. They're making all kinds of stuff out of mycelium. You can grow packaging, chairs, lampshades, insulation, fireproofing. There's so many things. It's fun, it's creative, but what's the big message of what you want people to learn from the canoe? I want people to experiment and realize that there's so much that mushrooms can do. Here in the Western world, we tend to be a little mycophobic when really we should look to mushrooms and learn to love them a little more. <laughs>